A Tiger in the House One day, when Grandfather was strolling down the forest path at some distance from the rest of the party, he discovered a little tiger about 18 inches long hiding among the intricate roots of a banyan tree. Grandfather picked him up and brought him home. At first, the tiger cub, who was named Timothy by Grandmother, was brought up entirely on milk given to him in a feeding bottle by our cook, Mahmood. But the milk proved too rich for him and he was put on a diet of raw mutton and cod liver oil. One of these days, we are going to find Timothy sitting on Mahmood's bed and no sign of the cook except his clothes and shoes. Of course, it never came to that. But when Timothy was about six months old, a change came over him. He grew steadily less friendly. When out for a walk with me, he would try to steal away to stalk a cat or someone's pet dog. Sometimes at night, we would hear frenzied crackling from the poultry house and in the morning, there would be feathers lying all over the veranda. Timothy had to be chained up more often. Grandfather decided it was time to transfer him to a zoo. About six months later, when my grandparents were visiting relatives in Lucknow, Grandfather took the opportunity of calling at the zoo to see how Timothy was getting along. Hello, Timothy. The tiger approached the bars and allowed Grandfather to put both hands around his head. Grandfather stroked the tiger's forehead and tickled his ears and whenever he growled, smacked him across the mouth, which was his old way of keeping him quiet. Timothy licked Grandfather's hands and only sprang away when a leopard in the next cage snarled at him. Grandfather shooed the leopard away and the tiger returned to lick his hands. You remember me? Now why don't you transfer Timothy to another cage away from this stupid leopard? But sir... I know, I know. I realize he is no longer mine. But you might at least take a suggestion or two from me. I remember your tiger very well. He died two months ago. Died? Yes, sir, of pneumonia. This tiger was trapped in hills only last month and he is very dangerous. Grandfather could think of nothing to say. The tiger was still licking his arm with increasing relish. Grandfather took what seemed to him an age to withdraw his hand from the cage. Good night, Timothy.